About a year ago, something special happened to me. I was having dinner at Nacho Daddy, a restaurant in downtown Las Vegas. There was quite a lot of loud music in the restaurant and some uh, TVs were blazing. And the guy sitting next to me was looking in a plate of cheese covered nachos. And he was yelling, are you willing to risk everything, just like Richard. Richard went bankrupt seven times, but still he kept putting his money, his millions, into businesses that he believed in. Now the guy sitting on my right, or the man sitting on my right, excuse me, was Ricardo Semler, the famous management guru, and he was of course talking about Richard Branson, Sir Richard Branson of Virgin. And the person he was talking to and he was really giving his arguments to was this man, Tony Shea, CEO of Zappos and author of Delivering Happiness. Well, this presentation will specifically go about Zappos and how a successful values and culture-driven company takes the fast lane to self-management. To understand Zappos, there are three important elements. The first one is a memo that was leaked or that was sent to Fast Company in March 2015. The second is a book by Belgian author Frédéric Laloux called Reinventing Organizations. And the third element is of course Tony Shea, CEO of Zappos. Now let's first talk a little bit about this memo sent to Fast Company. Well what happened is that Tony Shea wrote up a big memo to his staff, to his people, send it around and it basically told his people that they had about six weeks or about two months to drastically change. Zappos used to be a semi-classical organization which was also experimenting with self-management. And Tony told his people you have until the end of April to decide whether you want to stay with us and make a full move into self-management or whether you will leave our organization. And people were also offered the possibility to download a copy from Reinventing Organizations because this book really inspired Tony to make that shift. Now when the memo was sent out to Fast Company, there was a big buzz about it and about Zappos in the media. It went from the New York Times to Fortune magazine, the Sydney Daily Herald, eventually it also reached the Netherlands, the UK, so lots of people were talking about Zappos and about what its possible future could be. Now let's go to reinventing organizations and I have to say of all the recent management books that I've read or that I've skimmed, this is an extremely well-written book. And the reason for that is because it carefully takes a historical perspective on management and Frederick Laloux relied on 23 different organizations which were going to some sort of self-management. And the interesting thing is Many of these organizations did not know of each other. And still, Frederic Laloux finds some common principles and also tells us how we can make a move towards self-management. And especially, 12 organizations are described in depth in the book. So I really would like to advise you um, to read this book. I would like to take you to this model from Frederick Laloux, where he explains different organizational structures through time. 
and I'm especially going to focus on the last three where you notice the colors orange, green and then blue. Now what's an orange organization according to Lalou? Well, you could say that in Western Europe and probably in the US it's about 80% of our businesses. It's a kind of business where you have a more or less classical management structure with clear communication lines, there's targets being set, there's budgets, there's competition, there's, you know, getting things done but always through a classical hierarchy and some window for your own creativity. Most of us work in those kinds of organizations. Then you have organizations which Frederick Lelou would call green organizations. Those are organizations where there's a very strong focus on culture and on values. And also those are organizations who seem to have a, another or a higher purpose than just making money. They actually care for people, planet, profit, and they show this in their daily activities. And then there's something else. There's this self-managed organization which he calls TEAL. And the interesting thing is, in his book he mentioned that Zappos actually, about a year ago, was a green organization. So values, visionary leadership, going marvelously well, but still not at a step called self-management. And if you notice also this, uh, this graph, you see that the line goes upward. So there's also this vision of LALU that there's an evolution in organizational structures. That there's actually ways nowadays that seem to be better or more fitting to how people want to work than previously. Now whether this is so or not is beyond uh, the discussion of this, of this clip, but what is certain is that Tony Shea read this book, saw that Zappos was green, and decided about a year ago, we have to go to Teal. We now, in our next clip about Zappos, we will talk about how the HRM was about a year ago, and then how they're moving in the direction of Teal.